What's up, air signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with the Catholic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with y'all weekend vibes for the remainder of the weekend. My apologies for not getting you guys out yesterday, but hey, <laughs> time is of the essence, so we gotta use the time that we have to do what we have to do, okay? So, you guys, y'all weekend vibes is gonna be for today and tomorrow, okay? So, from the 6th to the 7th of November. We just gonna check the energies in and around air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. So without further ado, Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, and Highest White Light, please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channeled messages for the elements of air. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend of the 5th through the 7th, or technically for you guys, the 6th through the 7th. What is coming in for my air signs? What's the overall message for the elements of air, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini for the weekend vibes, Spirit? What energies are in and around the air signs for the weekend vibes? So whenever the healing light comes out in reverse, that definitely speaks to your ability to heal not only others, but yourself here. So this weekend, um, air signs, you guys could be, you know, doing, doing some of both, okay? Especially if you got some type of healing business, it's like you could be implementing healing to others. But if there's anything that's out of alignment on yourself, you could be taking time to kind of rest retreat, implement self-care, and work on that within yourself, okay? So let's see what else we got here for the weekend vibes for air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. What else is coming in for the air signs? Whew. That was your higher self that just flipped over. So yeah, if that's what you guys have to realign with is your higher self, you know, push out any shadow energies for this new moon weekend. Because we basically in the residual energy for today, tomorrow, and the day after that. So until Monday, we'll be in a residual energy. So maybe these are some strategies that you're implementing during this new moon phase. I don't know why nothing else is popping out, air signs. Like, is that all y'all doing? Is y'all just kind of chilling? Because, man, my hands hurt at this point. All right? So, let's get a couple more cards for the air signs and what's coming in for them this weekend, Spirit. What's coming in for the air signs this weekend? Ooh, I need my hand hurt now. All right, I'm going to let that one fall off because I was getting kind of on my nerve. All right, you guys are making up your mind about something. You guys are making up your minds. You're making a final decision. There was something that was going on and on. I was wanting to say back and forth, but for some reason, on and on came out, okay? Um, but technically, whatever was going back and forth, whether it was an individual in your life or you going back and forth in your mind about something, you're, you're taking the time to make a final decision as it pertains to whether that's going to be back or forth, whether you're going to fall back or move forth with something. And, you know, if you got to fall back, then, of course, it's like you implementing healing, you doing whatever it is you have to do, especially if it's causing somewhat of like a broken heart, okay? I'm seeing deserving here. You deserve more support. So anybody that's in your life that is not supportive as you need them to be, air signs, I kind of see you embracing what it is that you actually deserve and not settling for things that you don't, okay? So if you had a bunch of people in your life that was just takers, you know, users, abusers, you know what I'm saying? When people using you up, that is abuse too, you know? So just so that we're clear, at the bottom of the deck is a milestone. I feel like you are balancing out your life because of it, okay? So whatever um, road you're, you're uh, being dedicated to taking at this time, air signs, I'm definitely seeing that it's bringing enough balance into your life for you to meet, reach a milestone, or honestly, this could be a time where you reaching a milestone and it's because you choosing you first. I'm seeing a lot of energy of confidence and solar plexus, okay? 
because we did get deserving here. And this is about consciousness. You're, you're, you are switching your consciousness to um, optimism and, and like knowing your worth, knowing what it is that you deserve. Because what, whatever you was going back and forth with, it was kind of keeping you stuck in a perpetual cycle. You know, whether it was keeping you stuck in an old relationship, whether it was keeping you stuck at a stagnant job, whether it was keeping you stuck in a bored and complacent energy because you wasn't allowing new things in. It's like you making a decision to go after what you deserve. And because of that, exuding all of that optimism, I see a lot of beautiful things coming in for you. Not only, you know, periods of your life of success where your success is going to reflect your consciousness, but being able to celebrate that, have a good time, um, be able to kick back and not work so hard, you know what I'm saying? So whatever milestone you're reaching is putting you in a position where you have some time to relax, possibly take a vacation, do some fun things in your life, air signs. And we've been getting that for a while now. Um, especially for Aquarius. Aquarius has been called to take a vacation for at least a month or two. So, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. But as far as Libra and Gemini as well, you guys are all reaching this milestone in your life where you just realize you want better, you want different for yourself. And anything that was keeping you stuck, you eliminating it from your space so that you can evolve out of any stuck energy. You know what I'm saying? So that you don't have to keep on... Hey, you know, again, sometimes we complain about stuff, but we stay there, you know? And like I said, that can be when it comes to anything. Sometimes we get up and we complain about the job that we go to every day, but we look at it like, well, I got a form of income. Well, at least it's something. But you're getting up every single day miserable, going to a place that you can't stand with people that you can't stand or people that are low vibrational and out of alignment with the current frequency that you're in. And that's the reason why you feel stuck. Because as I was stating before, two things of the opposite vibration cannot survive in the same environment for too long. So when you raise your vibration, the things around you count. That's the reason why we lose interest interest in people we grow out of friends um we grow we our spirits and our souls become too big for the office jobs that we have or the warehouse jobs that we have because spirit is sending you a signal that uncomfortable energy or that unction in your gut to move forward or to graduate out of something is a sign from spirit that you know, you're simply no longer in alignment. It's of a different vibration and one gotta go, whether it's you or it. You know, so you could have been going back and forth with that for a while, no matter what that is. For some of you, it is a job, okay? For some of you, it is a job. And it's like, if you've been optimistic about it, working hard, um, you know, going up against opposing energies. And I'm only saying that because it's saying new supportive connection. So this is letting me know that you eliminating people out of your space that don't truly vibe with you they don't truly support you these are people that will act like they support you but behind the scenes you know they can be doing different things or you know even if they not doing much of anything we know that the word and the thought is some of the most powerful tools that we use in manifestation so even if somebody is you know, consistently thinking or even speaking negatively on your situation or they don't believe in what it is that you believe in or they believe that your goals and dreams are impossible, you know, then essentially they kind of set in a tone for the outcome, you know. So that's why it's kind of important for people to just mind their business and stay in their lane, which I find that people have a really hard time doing these days. Nowadays, people be more focused on you and the outcome of your situation, your relationship, your housing situation, your job, your car, your kids, that they let their own life fall to the wayside and then they wonder why they even have to embody the energy of jealousy. Well, because you're so busy focused on somebody else's experience and you're neglecting your own. That's why they say if you water your own grass, you don't have to worry about how green your neighbors is. Because you too busy keeping your eye on the prize rather than somebody else's prize or lack thereof. So without further ado, let's go ahead and um, get the specific energy for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. 
but it's all about realizing what you deserve, you know? And that's not to say that those that continue to stay in these situations are any less deserving to move forward than you. But the fact of the matter is, is when you do the inner work and you vibrate out of that, that don't mean that everybody in your environment doing the same thing. So if they still a vibrational match for the relationships, the friendships, the jobs, the housing situations that they're currently staying in, that's them. But you have actually evolved out of that. And that's the reason why it's no longer working. And that's the reason why you were here kind of confusing your vibrational escrow by putting in, I want something better. I'm going to settle for what I have. I want something better, but I'm going to just settle for what I have. Like you can't manifest with that. You're going to stay on this tier tide of, I want to move forward. Never mind. I'm just glad I got this. Like you can be thankful of, for what you already have and still want more. You get what I'm saying? So... All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get the uh, specific energy for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend vibes. What's coming in for Aquarius specifically? For the weekend vibes. What's coming in for Aquarius specifically for the weekend vibes? I'm telling you, you guys, keeping this happy, high vibrational, healthy vibration, this childlike vibration, okay? This is definitely healing that inner child, allowing your creativity to take precedence. I'm definitely getting um, Aquarius for a lot of you. You guys may have like a childlike imagination. Some of you guys can be into theater, whether that is, you know, you guys are a great actor or you guys could also have child, uh, you guys can also have children that are good at acting or that are like Gerber children, very beautiful children, children that you could put to acting if you wanted to. I mean, some people are against that and I understand completely because it is a stigma with child actors. I mean, they lives and they adulthoods don't turn out the best, but you know, my thing is if you really truly manage something, then it can really work. But at the end of the day, if it's not your own child, which it could, definitely could be, okay? If it's not, then it's definitely the energy of, um, like, this imagination of yours cultivates a lot of creativity. Um, and something could be happening here where you really happy with the results of, you know, some new creative ideas that you are giving birth to, okay? For some of you, this is definitely a mother-child situation because I'm seeing this here. It's like with the, the son and the empress being here, but regardless to what, even if this is just your own vibration, bringing in that empress energy and, you know, allowing you to be able to cultivate some sense of abundance from your own, um, like I said, imagination, creativity, and what it is that you want to do. It's like you have a vision and you set out to do it, okay? So for a while, you could have been stuck doing something else, you know, realizing that you deserve better. You want to manifest a more supportive connection, like more supportive connections, okay? Again, this is all about aligning the inner child is what I'm seeing for you, Aquarius. With the Six of Cups here, you know, Whenever I see it in reverse, I see that as have needing to heal some inner childhood wounds. So, at this point, I definitely see this energy. Um, I definitely see this energy of, you know, healing that inner child. Believing in yourself. Recognizing what it is that you deserve. Um, for some of you, this could be somebody that's been coming back and forth in and out of your life, okay? I am seeing that this person wants to come in and give some type of apology. Um, this person may want to go to the movies with you this weekend. Uh, whoever this is, you could have a child with them. You could have a son with them, or this could be what this person hopes and wishes for. This person may start to show up in your life a little bit more, Aquarius, because I'm kind of getting this back and forth energy in reverse. So if this was somebody that really wasn't being present, I feel like they are dedicated to being more supportive in your life like they want to be a prominent part of your everyday world rather than just kind of stepping in for the moment and not really being there when you truly need them 
okay so it could definitely be a movie date and some love making this weekend especially if you can get some type of babysitter okay so for some of you you could be reluctant when it comes down to letting this person back in because i am getting because of some type of flighty nature or in and out energy there can definitely be um there could have definitely been a point in time where you had to heal from this individual but it's like they wanting to bring a, a healthy connection. This person may be wanting to solidify a relationship with you. If it doesn't have anything to do with children, they want to give you a healthier relationship. Okay? It could have even been this, this person who had to heal some inner childhood wounds or address them at least in order to be able to come towards you with some confidence here and express to you that they do want something more serious. Because with the son and the empress... That is, that, that's, some, some, that's somebody that wants to start something new, but has the idea for the long haul with you, okay? Okay, so yeah, this person is definitely thinking about the thought of losing you, okay? With this 10 of um, Pentacles in reverse, this person feels like if they don't step up to the plate right now, they're going to miss their opportunity, all right? This person definitely has the idea of cultivating something new that's going to be long lasting with you and the thought of missing that opportunity yeah because i definitely do feel like you you put this person in a position where they have to all right y'all so i'm not even gonna lie this can definitely be a situation where you had to let this person go in order for them to come forth and do the right thing because i'm getting this energy of this person feeling as though a legacy that they fantasized about building with you or they could have even been on their way to like propose or start something new with you you could have been like never mind you know what i'm saying because maybe you felt like this person wasn't being here for you enough um you could have felt like you was clinging on to the situation but i definitely feel like you let go of this individual and that's what's causing them to come back and apologize and want to give you something more healthy, okay? Because this person is reminiscing strong about you, all right? They thinking about the times that y'all had and they thinking about the times that they want to share with you in the future. And they already, yeah, and this is today. Wow, for some of you, y'all going to get an actual apology and a call today, all right? <laughs> I had to let you see it. <laughs> it's in gold letters too. Why is the Prince of Cups here? I feel like this is an apology, an apology this person wanting to take you out on a date and it could be something real laid back for some of y'all y'all might have to get a babysitter because i mean it's just too much child energy here for me to ignore but yeah this person definitely wants to talk to you they want to solidify this situation yeah with the dog paw in reverse you know this person they don't want to be a player anymore i don't know if they was a player or if that's just what you thought of them but i feel like this person coming in to set the record straight and for some of you it's going to be today okay so why is the sun card here i'm telling you this person want to reproduce with you i know they do for those of you that can and for those of you that cannot yeah they want to heal things with you they want to take you somewhere sunny so maybe this person has came into like a large lump sum. It's looking like they want to spend a lot of that on you. I'm not going to lie. They may want to take you to Hawaii or somewhere where it's nice and just retreat with you and do something nice and fun. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here, spirit? This made me smile. Yeah, you express something. You express some dissatisfaction to this person. Like, this person realizes that you're strong, sexy, and fiery. You're enlightened. You're a leader. They love your feminine energy. They feel it's very sexy. You stand up for yourself. And maybe this person thought because you was an empress energy, a receptive energy, you know, a very docile or meek energy and submissive when you need to be. Um, This person might have thought that they can kind of do whatever and just come around when they come around. But I feel like you, you pulled back your energy. If you had... If you had accepted an offer, then you reneged on it. If this person felt like y'all was leading towards a solid start, something happened. 
between some shit. Something happened somewhere where you changed your mind. And it's because this person was back and forth. They was in and out of your life. And you like, I already healed myself from this. If it wasn't from this person, you healed yourself from other flighty individuals that didn't know how to stay put in your life. And you like, I don't need to do that again. Why do I need to repeat a cycle with this person? I'm going to just let them go. I'm not going to hold on to the idea of being with this person and end up burdening myself even more. This person wasn't giving you the clarity that you needed, Aquarius, and so you clo you got closed off. So I don't know when you told this person, but this person is rushing in because they don't want you to let go. I feel like they want to open up to you about how they feel, how they feel and what they want from this connection. And once again, they want to come in and they want to... Um, exemplify a brand new energy in this connection by being more supportive towards you, you know, because you let this person know, shit, some things that they did that made you unhappy because I'm getting, this made me smile in reverse. So you was letting this person know, like, you know what? If you're going to be in my life and you're going to be making me miserable rather than happy, I do not need you around, you know? So why is the Six of Cups here? Because you already know what you have to bring to the table, Aquarius. And you know that you can bring happiness. So why is the Six of Cups here? This person definitely want to tangle in the sheets with you. I see that. But it's not just to be doing it. Yeah, this person want to spend... This person want to be cuddled up. It's cuffing season and this person trying to cuff you. This week. I feel like this person was going to give you time... And they was gonna reach out sometime this week, but they don't want they don't want time to pass. They wanna come kick it with you today. You know what I'm saying? They wanna come kick it with you today. I'm definitely saying they was gonna wait. <laughs> I see that energy here clearly. It's like this week was in reverse. Like, hell no, nah, I'm not waiting. Because I can wait that long and I can lose this for a lifetime. So it seems as though this person changed their mind to I'ma reach out today. So y'all could be hearing from them today. Okay, so why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, this person realizes that they haven't been there for you. And it's like, how I'm going to be fantasizing about a legacy or a future, and I can't even be there for the person that I love. I'm not being supportive. You know what I'm saying? This person could notice that you get a lot of attention or whatever the case. That could have made them feel some kind of way. But they had to also change their sense of um, consciousness to understand that they deserve this connection. It don't matter how much um, attention you get. It depends on the person. And if you it, the, the attention make a whole lot of difference when you're getting it from the person you want. And I'm saying 22-22. When you're getting it from the person that you want rather than a bunch of different people that really don't matter. And I ain't saying it like that. I'm pretty sure we all appreciate compliments. But you know it hit different when it's coming from a random individual rather than the person whose opinion you actually care about. Why is the ace of discs in reverse? So this person definitely feel like you a superwoman. You know, they want to come to your rescue. They want you to be that person that you... That they, they want to be the person that you can lean on in the times where you're not so strong. Yeah, they don't want to get left in the past. So this person could be coming through with some greeny green. That's if y'all smoke, you know, for that specific group. You know, I mean, hey, and if it's anything else, maybe they want to come through but with a bottle or something. Because I don't got no wine uh, card. I just got <laughs> this and some other shit. But, I mean, at the end of the day, this person may want to come over, get a little buzzy, go to the movies, um, or y'all could be going to the movie theater where they got, like, some cocktails, because I am seeing y'all, y'all getting a little tipsy, and this person reminding you, you know, that they really do want you in their life, and yeah, they could be showing you in a sensual way, but I feel like it's after some emotional expression, Okay. So let me go ahead and write down a time for Libra, 2349. All right, so let's get the specific energy for Libra. Let's get the specific energy for Libra as it pertains to this spread for the weekend vibes. Justice in reverse. Okay, so Libra, y'all energy already coming up in reverse. 
So you guys are separating from somebody. You are closing out a karmic cycle, okay? So if you had a choice between lovers, then you're no longer going back and forth. It's seen as though you're going towards a connection where the person is much more supportive of you. They want to see you doing good. They put a smile on your face. Um, they make you feel good. You know, they make you feel like something. Like this person want to push you to the top. And it's, it's something that you just love about that individual. Now, I do see that whatever this is that you decided to leave behind this karmic cycle with this justice in reverse, you could have been done very unfairly. This could have been a mar marital situation. But it's looking like you making a choice to separate from one person and go in a new direction. And that is a decision that's being made based on what you feel you deserve, okay? And it's not just what you feel. You do deserve the best, okay? If it's anything that you have to heal from, it's no need to try to stick around and stay in that. It, it was what it is. You meant to learn from it and move on. So you separating from a lover. You could be dealing with another Libra or a Gemini. Okay, what else is coming in specifically for Libra for the weekend vibes? Yeah, the fool is in reverse. So you are a little hesitant about moving towards this other connection. And that could be why back and forth is here. You just wondering how much of it. Hold on, y'all. You wondering how much of it is fantasy and how much is reality. I'm not going to hold you up. Okay, with the seven of cups. So if you guys are deciding to have um, like a breakup, you, you going for it, like you going for it without a shadow of a doubt, you may find yourself, you know, celebrating with friends. Maybe just the first weekend you truly single. You know, I feel like this new individual is on your mind, but I don't see you interacting with them. So you could be going out with friends. You know, they could be just kind of taking you out for drinks or whatever to get your mind off of whatever breakup you had. And you could be bringing up your new connection to your friends, just asking, you know, their advice, what they think about, you know, you moving on, what they think about you finally making a decision to leave a relationship that was no longer healthy for you. You know, um, you don't really know what move to make. Again, you don't know if this is fantasy or reality because a part of you feels like whatever you move in towards Libra is like too good to be true. Okay? So there's a sense of hesitancy. You're not quite sure if you want to give up your freedom after you just gained it. You see what I'm saying? So let's see. Let's get two more cards for Libra as it pertains to the weekend vibe. What's coming in for Libra? All you know for sure is that the person that you want to go towards, they seem, they come off as, wow, y'all kind of getting the opposite of uh, Aquarius here. So you guys are actually getting the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So you guys are separating from somebody and you wanted to give somebody a new offer. Rather that's let's move in together. Here's a promise ring. Um, it, it's something here, you know, you want to give an offer. So in all actuality, I feel like you've been back and forth about it. You've been very hesitant. You could have been really shy when it comes down to approaching this new person. Because compared to what it is that you leaving behind, this person is very loving. This person could be really easy to talk to. They can be a little older in age, you know. Um, maybe it's something that you did go back and forth with. Maybe you broke up with somebody, went towards this person, went back to an ex, and you finally figuring out that whatever you was in before, Libra, it's, it's, it's exhausted all possibilities. Like, you've done everything that you could to make something work, and it's just no longer conducive to your um, growth. I just saw 2828, so that's 1010. Some of y'all birthdays can be on 1010. But at the end of the day, whoever this is that, you know, who you could be leaving one situation and, and ushering into this person's life, they have a very warm, inviting, and welcoming energy to them. It's something about this person that make you feel like you could pour your heart out to them, but maybe you haven't yet. You know, maybe you do want to talk to this person and open up more to them about your past, you know. But at the end of the day, there is a situation here where um, 
you are making a decision to work towards a new commitment after making a final decision to close out a karmic cycle. Something that you was just meant to learn from overall. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, I don't feel like you made that move yet, Libra. Or, you know, whoever you are. Like, you could be the Queen of Cups in this situation. But you can also be the person that's coming towards the Queen of Cups. So, just take it as it resonates, whatever your role is. This stack is so thick that it's hard to freaking... I'm going to have to break it into two because it's so hard to shuffle it with how thick it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to shuffle this too just so I can get a good little mix up on these cards. I don't like when the same thing keeps coming out. Yeah, but somebody is just deciding, you know. And honestly speaking, Libra, you could have even broken up with this individual a long time ago. But you just been back and forth about whether you was healed enough to embrace a new connection with somebody that you see is unconditionally loving. And that can be a brand new type of dynamic for you. Maybe you've never been in a relationship where the love was unconditional. Why is the justice here in reverse? So, if it seems too good to be true to you, that's why. This person essentially is your fantasy person. People pleasing. Yeah, you tired of pleasing that old person. Maybe you wasn't telling them no every time they wanted to reconcile because you try to make everybody happy. But at the end of the day, it's like you trying to look at the bright side. I feel like this person that you're trying to leave behind, they definitely threw you lemons and now you're trying to make lemonade. Like you're trying to add honey to it. Shit, maybe this new person is the honey. You know what I'm saying? Like, this new person could be the honey, and you trying to make lemonade out of it. Like, you know what? I'm not going to allow one situation to ruin my entire life. You know what I'm saying? To not make me happy. Some of y'all been focusing on y'all career while y'all heal from whatever happened here. Why is the fool in reverse here? Yeah, yeah, somebody got a one-up on you, too, is what I'm getting. A feminine energy definitely got a one-up or whatever. So maybe you just, the uh, whoever you leaving behind, Libra, they could have, like, a TikTok. They could be TikTok famous, or they can be trying to get TikTok famous, or you could have met them on TikTok, whatever the case is. You having a hard time letting it go. You was kind of bitter about it, you know? I'm getting the energy of, like, a um, BBW energy. So this person could be like, you know, some like a body positive um, BBW on TikTok or something like that. And maybe, uh, I don't know, or that can be you. You know what I'm saying? You could be the body positive BBW Libra. Let's see. But um, I'm definitely getting that. It's like rumors in the streets is what I'm getting. I'm getting it's a lot of rumors. It's a lot of gossip. And you, I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is as it pertains to your old relationship. But even when it comes down to the new relationship, it's like after what all you've been through in the old relationship, you want to be making sure that um, you're not going to get with somebody that's going to give you a bad reputation, that's going to embarrass you, um, that's going to make you look some kind of way because maybe you are an influencer. Because I am getting this energy of like a, a celebrity to be. You know what I'm saying? So that could be you. You could be really popular. So it's like, it, however your spouse act, it matters. You know what I'm saying? Because essentially a lot of people know you and the streets be talking. Okay? So why is the ace of discs here? Yeah, it's like you finally can rest now that you're leaving this person alone. This other person may bring you peace because I'm getting that you had insomnia with this other person. And like I said, celebrity in the making came out. So you could have really just got some type of deal. I keep getting this body image, but the body image issues is in reverse. And this be happy thing is in the upright. So I'm definitely getting this energy here where... Again, you can be a thickums or the person, you know, if you the Libra masculine, then you like you some thickums, okay? I just keep getting that because I got both of my, my thickum cards here. And it's other cards here that represent other body sizes. So, 
Um, for some of you Libras, you could be the thickums or the person that you dealing with, they like thickums, okay? So let's see. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Whoever this is, though, it's like they, they're confident. It's like they're confident BBW, though. They're not like... Yeah, even if they had body image issues in the past, I definitely feel the sense of, like, not feeling like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? So either they changed how they felt or whatever. And I don't know if this your past person or the person you're going towards, Libra, or if you are that person. But if you are, that's something that they admire about you. They like that. You know, even though, you know, you a BBW and sometimes society, society gonna be either way. They either gonna love us or hate us, um, BBWs or whatever. But, you know, a lot of people love us and a lot of people try to do whatever they gotta do. But when you confident, you confident and that make you all the more sexy. Like, confidence is almost like having a, that's like a feature. That's like having a beautiful feature. That's like having some beautiful eyes or some plump lips or, you know, some smooth skin. Com like, you can wear confidence like a damn accessory. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, okay, so hold on. So somebody got a heal from an energy vampire. So Libra, that could be you. So some of y'all could be going to counseling. Like, even if this person right here is not... um is not the person that you're going towards or this is not you you know what i'm saying and uh, the masculine is coming towards somebody like you somebody here could be getting some type of counseling okay because this is the therapist all right but if not you just like i said you're very comforting and easy to talk to why is the queen of cups here but don't forget that somebody is seeking healing here so rather they feel like they get that healing in your presence or what you know it just depends why is a the therapist or the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, they trying to get their confidence back. So, for those of you where this person could have been hesitant to come towards you, they could be looking at your birth chart and everything. Just doing what we love. This person loves talking to you. You make my heart smile. Travel and explore. Yeah, they definitely want to travel. I keep getting this energy of cuffing season and this person wanting to spend the winter time with you. So this person has already thought all of this out. They making a decision because it's like they want to spend the holiday months, you know, um, snuggled up with you, you know. They respect you. They love how confident you are. Even uh, whether this is you or them, whoever had a hard time and they had to heal through a lot, it's like they're not giving up on love. Somebody here is making lemons out of lemonade. I mean, making lemonade out of, out of lemons. Okay. So, let's see. 37.20. Y'all readings are long. Alright. So, now we're going to Gemini. Okay, we're going to Gemini's energy. Okay, what's coming in for Gemini for this weekend vibes, spirit? What's coming in for Gemini for the weekend vibes? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Well, you guys are definitely deciding to not invest in something anymore. You guys can be like, if you guys are students, Gemini, <clears throat> or you are learning something, taking a trade, you can be deciding to switch your majors. You could be putting less effort in at work or just deciding that you don't want to do something anymore, okay? So this could be more on a work or school tip for y'all. What's coming in for Gemini? For the weekend vibes. Yeah, y'all letting go of something. Whether it's a job or a, a, a major or something. Y'all want to take a break? Okay, I'm getting four, four. So here's, some, here's something. You guys don't feel stable where you at. Okay, you're not putting in effort in something, but you feel like you stuck in a decision. And it could be because of what everybody else want for you. Okay? 
So don't forget what the whole overall message is. The overall message is that whatever decision that you are making, you will have a supportive group of individuals that's backing you. You know, and not only people that are physically here in this realm, but I feel like this is as it pertains to your spiritual support as well, okay? Because with me getting this healing energy here, it's like, it's something that you don't feel connected to doing anymore. You could have been going in a field or going in a direction of study because of everybody else's suggestion. And I feel like you opening up and you actually speaking on it. Like you want to let something go and try something new. You don't want to feel like you stuck doing something just because everybody else wants you to do it, Gemini. Okay? Yeah. And see, you could feel stuck, especially if this is like school because maybe somebody else is paying for it for you. I'm also feeling like a lack of stability. So if you wanted to change a job or to change some type of field of study that you was going in, you recognizing it that it doesn't align with the lifestyle that you want. Because I'm feeling like somebody feeling like they're not going to have enough. All right. It's like you feel like you're not going to be making what you want to make. Maybe you're doing more research on the field and you realizing that it take a lot of work. It take a lot of education. It take a lot of certificates or degrees, but it's not going to be paying what you want. It's a pay because I'm getting this energy here with milestone, you know. The three of cups and the nine of swords. You could be going to friends about this, all right? So, with this being a weekend, I definitely have to incorporate, like, activities because not everybody just stick and stay at home. This could be something that's been on your mind. Maybe you asking friends to help you make a decision. Again, if you are on the younger end and things are being funded for you, Gemini, I'm definitely getting that. It could be difficult for you to want to tell your parents because your parents can be very stern. They could be very strict. You know, you, you already know some of the stuff that they may say as it pertains to how much money they've been spending or, you know, that this has always been a plan. Why you change it now? So this can actually be like a friend's birthday party this weekend. Um, but I do feel like either before or after that, you know, you could be talking to people that you real closely connected to, Gemini, asking them, like, should I just stay stuck in this because this is what everybody else want me to do? Because I feel like this is a stupid investment. Not all of my um, passion is in this. And I feel like this is something that's been heavily conflicting you for a long time. Now, if it's a job, same thing here. You could be afraid of losing your stability. Afraid of losing your ability to be independent and be able to take care of yourself. But I feel like you got support here. I feel like you got individuals that's encouraging you to go for the goal, even though you are nervous. You know, yeah, it's, like, it's looking like you guys want to go from something very mundane and um, like white collar to something very creative. Like I'm definitely getting like the day trader to the filmmaker, you know? So maybe you guys want to go into film, into acting, into producing, into, you know, um, I don't know, costumes, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's so many different jobs that you can have on the set of a movie or on theater set or whatever, whether it's being the actor, being the hairdresser, being the, the makeup artist or, you know, the stylist or you wardrobe or, you know, um, like I said, writing screenplays, whatever the case is. But it's like you want to implement your gift in a different way. And again, some people could have had their mindset on your future, you following in their footsteps, you doing what it is that they're paying for, and maybe they feel like whatever this is that you want to do is not going to be able to take care of it. Because we got a lot of parents that think about that. Like when they sending their kids to college, it's like, be that doctor, be that lawyer, be what we tell you to be because we know what's best for you. But that can that can turn out to be something very miserable when it's not something that you're passionate about. And I feel like that's what you're feeling like. Gemini, you could be feeling like, I want to do such and such for a field of work or for a field of study because that's what makes me happy. That's what I feel passionate about. I don't feel passionate about this. 
no matter how much wealth is going to bring me. You feel like it's a stupid investment because you're not interested. So let's see. Yeah, you different. And it's like everybody wants you to be the same. We got the unicorn at the bottom of the deck. You don't want to be the talk of the family or whatever the case is because I'm getting that you could have family members that got a big ass mouth. It says, talk too much, don't tell them shit. And that's the T, sis. This was in reverse. That's the reason why you don't want to tell people. People just expect you to just go with the norm, Gemini. Okay, so again, I don't care whether this is your current work field or if you're still young enough to be in school, but you are. You care about how your family think and feel. You don't want people gossiping and putting you down and making it seem like you're just aimless. You know what I'm saying? So why is the Four of Pentacles in reverse here? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's something about the people that are... It's something about the people that you feel like you got to notify about this that's just judgmental. You know, it's like they're going to be trying to say, you know, that they just trying to protect you and stuff like that. Um... Let me see what this is. Yeah, some people, yeah, let me tell you something. People, your family got to let you go. They got to let you go. They got to let you go. Some of y'all can be grown and y'all just got family that's invasive. Okay? Because, and it's because they, they feel like they being protective over you. It's like people kind of see you as somebody that, like, you don't think things through. Like, you don't think clearly. I don't know why, but I don't get that idea from Gemini as, at all. Like, they may be, like, I don't know. It could have been one instance that these people done caught you high before, and it's like they think you a druggie or something. I don't know. I ain't trying to say it like that, but... I'm kind of getting this psychedelic energy here. This is my psychedelic card. Psychedelic hallucination strong. So maybe one day, one time when you was a teenager, that shit happened. And whoever these people are, yeah. Y'all got people that's like, they want control over your life. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that this is coming out, Gemini. But honestly, I feel... This is so weird. One second. I don't know. It's a whole nother storyline here, but I really don't even want to get off into that. I mean, I guess I could because it probably would resonate with more people. But for a lot of you, this is somebody that you don't want to um, invest back in, into, okay? Whoever this person is, they didn't appreciate your uniqueness. They could have been back and forth. They could have been two-faced. They could have been on both sides of the fence. Whoever this person is, they are very um, invasive. So you still get an invasive energy, whether it's family or a love interest. But I definitely do feel like um, this person, they astral project into your space. This person also uses magic to keep you stuck. Whoever this individual is, they can be trying to keep you stuck financially. Okay, so this could be somebody that you're trying to move away from because it's like you could be meeting new people that's more supportive because this individual is false. Like, they fake. It's like they could be in your face one day, but then they dogging you out to other people about how different you are. You could be afraid to leave this person behind, and it's because this person is keeping you stuck through manipulation. Okay, not only that, but they all up in your space energetically as well. Okay, this person takes psychedelics and they come into your space. I feel like they always have an astro sex with you. They be trying to block your crown chakra so you can't, you know, you could have even stopped as well. Like maybe you um, block this person energetically so that they can't enter your space or whatever. Whoever this person is, man. 
I don't know what's going on, but I feel like you can feel the manipulation coming from this person. They want to reconcile this weekend is what I'm getting. So for those of you where the school or work thing does not resonate, then I'm definitely getting that there, there's a person here. All right. And again, this person can be on the fence, whether they support you or not. You know what I'm saying? This person, they act one way towards you, but then behind the scenes, they doing things to keep you stuck on them. Okay, and I feel like you keep overcoming it. Whoever this person is, they was never expecting you to put them out of their of your life. They feel like they can keep coming in and out. And it's because of the manipulation here. And it's because of all of the spiritual things that they doing. Astro projected, astro sex, you know, um, trying to do something to tap into your psyche. But I feel like they blocked now. So if they blocked from communicating telepathically, they may be trying to come forth. Yeah, they definitely want to, like, come spend a night. I'm getting that. Good times together in reverse. I don't feel like you want to reconcile with this person. Why is it three of cups here? But this person definitely, um, whoever they are, it's like they could be coming forth to actually ask for money, too. That's what I'm getting. Okay, why is it three of cups here? Yeah, the Akashic Records. They be digging up in your Akashic Records. So they know you coming into abundance. That's the reason why they're trying to come back into your life. It's a lot of secrets behind this individual. Um, again, they could be trying to kind of come in and set you up for the okie doke because I'm getting no glove, no love, and it's coming out in reverse. So that's like somebody trying to come in and convince you to have unprotected sex. But again, they can also be like... Um, I want to say violating you because I feel like astral sex without per permission is definitely a violation. That's like spiritual R word. You know what I'm saying? So whoever this person is, again, this is just weird, but this is somebody that you're making your mind up on. For others of you, you know, stick with the work and school thing because that was definitely coming up very strong. But as I started clarifying, it started coming up more as a person rather than a work or a school scenario. So take which scenario works best for you. But anyway, go whoever you trying to eliminate from your life. It seemed like you should keep them away from you because they do do it. They like a spiritual narcissist. I'm not going to lie. All right, guys. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.